Hi guys, so this message is not for everybody and this message is really, really, it's really emotional. It's, it's kind of hard for me to deliver this message, but I have to and God wants you to be very careful of this friend. Now, we've all been here in a situation like this where we've had friends that just cross boundaries. We're friends that like don't respect your relationship, don't respect your marriage, don't respect, you get what I'm saying? They just cross boundaries and there's certain things that they're not supposed to do that they do and then sometimes what ends up happening is sometimes people in the past they will see these red flags and they'll ignore these red flags and then there's like a huge betrayal or backstab okay now this particular situation that god showed me um you do have a friend these these particularly you have two female friends and this is a this is a, a woman she's either married or she's um okay so this woman's either married or in a relationship with someone that she's going to get married to okay and this woman has two female friends okay and these two female friends they both like to cross boundaries okay they don't respect your marriage or they don't respect your relationship and there's a lot of things that you saw like you you kind of saw that they would sneakily do or a lot of things that they shouldn't do it's just common sense things it's, it's like one of these friends is more bold than the other one of them they cross boundaries but they're kind of they're not as bold as the other one they cross boundaries but they do little sly things and say little sly remarks and stuff but it's kind of like they're not she's not as bold as the other one now the one that was really bold she will be she's a kind of person that'll be touching up on your husband like she'll be touching your husband's shoulders if she makes a joke she'll push your husband or, or your boyfriend or she'll like oh there's something on your face let me clean it off like crossing boundaries she's the bold one like she's the one that would do stuff like this okay god said be careful of this friend she is doing it on purpose she does not have good motives Okay, she does not have good motives and she does not respect you. She does not respect your relationship. Now, when he showed me this, you know, the husband or the boyfriend, I wasn't sure if it was a boyfriend or husband, they, 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 they're very respectful of their marriage. So this husband or boyfriend, it's kind of like he doesn't want to put himself in a situation that's going to, you know, raise red flags or make you very uncomfortable or make your make the whole situation worse than what it is. He understands what's happening. He knows what's happening and he feels uncomfortable. So the thing about it is I'm not sure if he's had this discussion with you, a conversation with you. I don't feel like he did because the way how God showed it to me was like every time this friend tries to cross boundaries, it's kind of like he'll pull himself away or he'll remove himself. So let's just say you have this friend in your home and you know, you leave the kitchen and it's your friend and your husband in the kitchen or boyfriend in the kitchen your husband will leave the kitchen at the same time like he's not going to stay in the kitchen but this friend will try to keep him in the kitchen or do you get what i'm saying it's like he he caught on to what this friend is doing but i feel like he never said nothing to you about it if he hasn't because i feel like it's more like he's not trying to put you and your friend against each other or he's not trying to cause a riffraff between you and your friend or he he may be thinking that he's tripping like he may be thinking maybe i'm tripping but be, to be safe, he's being respectful of the relationship. So this is not like someone that's deceitful and he's going along with it. No, this is a respectful man. The way God showed it to me, he's a very respectful man. And I don't feel like he said anything to you about it. Because when, I, when God showed it to me, this friend was like, oh, there's something on you. Let me fix it. And the husband pulled himself away. The husband or boyfriend pulled himself away. And he removed himself from the situation completely. This friend is crossing boundaries. And she's doing it on purpose. Okay. And, and um you saw red flags but you kind of let it slip through your fingers you kind of just you're kind of in denial about it god wants to be careful of this friend not because you can't trust your partner because your partner is very trustworthy like from what god showed me he can be trusted but i feel like your partner doesn't want to mention it to you because he doesn't want to put you put you in the middle of a situation so he's trying to be respectful also of your friendship but this friend can't be trusted if she can betray you and she has the thoughts to betray you this way you shouldn't have this type of person in your life because she's going to cause drama. She's going to cause disruption to your marriage. And the devil is using her, okay? The devil's definitely using her. And she does have like a Jezebel-like spirit attached to her as well. And God is saying you need to protect your marriage and your home. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was doing things behind the scenes to your marriage or to you. I'm not saying that she is, but I wouldn't be surprised if she thought about it. You have to remember something like it said in James yesterday, the scripture I read, I read for you guys. I don't remember the actual scripture but it did say something like a person would would envy and selfish in ambitions 
will practice this. You get what I'm saying? They'll practice doing evil things to you if they already have envy in their heart and they already have selfish intentions. They will practice doing this basically with their actions. Like they'll do things, evil things behind the scenes. So if this friend is doing this boldness in, in front of your in your home or in front of you or or doing this boldness and not respecting you can only imagine what else she can be doing behind the scenes you get what i'm saying so god really wants you to be careful and you have to eliminate anything that's going to cause any type of riffraff in your relationship you got to eliminate everything that is not of god everything that's gonna that's that's gonna put your relationship or your marriage at risk okay because but from what i saw this is a good man he's not gonna betray you but this friend is she she made she's the kind of person that i saw that um, she would even lie or she'll do things on purpose just to cause riffraff in your marriage. And you need to remove yourself from anyone that is like that. You got to protect your marriage, protect your relationship, okay? If it's not your husband, it's a boyfriend. This is someone that's that's potentially a husband. Like, this person is a very good man, okay? Anyway, I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.